Hi friends, this is Sarvajan here. Welcome to my networking channel. And today let us discuss about BGP local preference attribute. So local preference sent to all IBGB neighbors within a single autonomous system. So it is not exchanged between the EBGB neighbors and always highest local preference is preferred and the default value is 100. So always it is used to take the outbound path which always prefers the best outbound path. So now let us go to the scenario. So first thing I am going to show all the BGP neighbor relationship on the, all this router and the next thing I am going to advertise the prefix as a loopback address and third thing I am going to uh, configure the BGP local preference attribute. So R1 as per this architecture R1 has established an EBGP neighbor relationship with R2 and EBG neighbor relationship with R3 since both are in different autonomous system number and R2 has established an IBGP relationship with R3 and EBGP relationship with R1 right this so both are in the same autonomous system number. So now let us go to the R1, R2 and R3. Let us configure the individual BGP neighbor relationship, right? So go to R1 router BGP1 and it has two EBGP neighbor, right? Uh, so let us check the 12.2 and 13.2. So neighbor is 192.168.192.168.12.2 and the remote autonomous system number is 2, right? Similarly, 13 it has two EBGB neighbors 12.2 and another one is 13.2. 12.2 and 13.2. So two EBGB neighbors we have configured. Similarly, go to R2. R2 has one IBGB neighbor and one EBGB neighbor. So let us enable the routing protocol BGP followed by the autonomous system number. Then configure the neighbor statement. So the neighbor statement is R2 has 23.2 and 12.1. 23.2 is the IBGB neighbor, right? So 192.168.23.2 as a IBGB neighbor that is 2 and similarly 12.1 12 12 12 as a EBGB neighbor right 12.1 as a EBGB neighbor 12.1 as a EBGB neighbor which is an autonomous system number 1 similarly go to R3 and configure the individual BGP neighbor relationship so router BGP2 right and it has two uh, neighbors one is an IBGB neighbor and a EBGB neighbor IBGB neighbor is 23.1 192.168.23.1 and the remote AS value is 2 so always make sure that you are configuring the correct neighbor statement if you are configuring an incorrect neighbor statement the BGP neighbor relationship will not establish between the routers so 23.1 another one is 13.1 right so 13.1 as an EBGB neighbor so once this is done, first thing we need to check the neighbor relationship. So neighbor is coming up. It will it is showing the notification, right? So neighbor is coming up. So okay, let us check the neighbor statement. Show IP BGP all summary. Okay, still one more neighbor to come up. So see, still that it is showing active, right? First it will be idle, then go to active, then it will go to the established state. So the now now the neighbor is established and it is receiving the prefixes. You are you are seeing the uptime of the neighbor. And the prefix will show some value. If it is idle, it will show it like this idle or active. That means the neighbor is about to establish. So now the neighbor is in established state. Similarly, go to R2 and check the neighbor relationship, right? Show IP BGP all summary. And similarly, go to R3 and check the neighbor relationship. Show IP BGP all summary. So here itself, you are see you are able to see, right? Neighbor is up. So then let us advertise the prefix for the individual routers. Go to router BGP1. Advertise the prefix. So network is 1.1.1.0 and the mask is 255.255.255.0. Similarly, go to R2 and configure the prefix, right? So router BGP2 and the network prefix is 2.2.0. Mask is 255.255.255.0, right? I think you are following. So the third thing, go to the router configuration mode, router BGP2 and the prefix is 3.3.3.0 and the mask is 255.255.255.0. So first I will configure the BGP neighbor relationship, then I will check the neighbor, right? Neighbor is established on all these three routers. And the second thing, I advertise this loopback as a prefix on individual routers. So now I'm going to check the BGP routing table, right? So let us check the BGP routing table. That is show IP BGP. Yeah, we are able to see the BGP routing table and the corresponding prefixes. So from R1 uh, network, we are able to see the 2.2 .2 prefix and 3.3 .3 is getting advertised, right? 
so what i am going to do i am going to set the local preference attribute so what we can do we can make this as the highest preferred path or this either this we can uh, do so let us make this path as a preferred path that means i need to set the value as more than 100 right default value is 100 so what i am going to do i am going to set this attribute as the highest attribute so let us go to the individual neighbor relationship router bgp1 right so let us see the neighbor neighbor is uh, yeah 12.2 so this will make it as a preferred path so what we can do we can set the route map statement so go to the individual route map statement and set the local inbound since it is shared within the internal ibgb neighbors i am setting as in so then i have to configure the individual route map statement right route map loc loc and permit statement followed with the sequence number and set the local preference attributes always set it more than 100 right so we'll make it as 900 so what happened this path will make it as a preferred path 12.2 so for r1 so it, this will take this as the preferred outbound path for reaching 2.2 or 3.3 network right that is the purpose of local preference so let us check the routing table again so it will should, should show up in the routing table so routing table what i think it will show is it will show all the prefixes and it will show all the attributes so these are the default attributes network nest stop metric and local preference right so the next stop is the default attribute and local preference it's another attribute it will always prefer for the highest local preference so let us see the show ip bgp still the value i have changed right 900 still it is not reflecting in the network prefix right so what we can do we can just do a soft reset clear ip bgp soft reset you to specify the value 192.168.12.2 remote neighbor will make it a soft in similarly 13.2 so i'm doing a soft reset so now let us check the show ip bgp neighbor relationship because soft reset is really very simple if you are doing hard reset what happen it will kill all the bgp neighbor relationship then it will take time to for the bgp neighbor to come up then it will advertise the prefix after that it will show up in the bgp routing table so for preventing all scenario I am just doing a soft reset using this command, two command. So once I am doing a soft reset, what happened? It will request for a fresh update from the neighbor, right? So it will request for the update. So now it is getting the, now the prefix attribute, right? So the local preference attribute is advertising in the BGP table. So what uh, path it is taking, let us see. For 1.1 network, it is taking this path as a preferred path. So 2.2, it is taking this path as a preferred path because of the highest local preference value. Similarly, for reaching 3.3 network, it is taking 12.2 as a preferred path because of the highest local preference attribute. Because default is 100, so it always take the highest preferred outbound path. So, R1 network for reaching either 2.2 net prefix or 3.3 prefix, it is taking 12.2 as a highest preferred outbound path. Because this will be taken as the highest local preference attribute and it always prefers the highest outbound path. So, this path will be the preferred path preferred outbound part for reaching this 2.2 network or 3.3 network so that is the thing you are able to see right so this is the purpose of local preference the main point you have to remember is it is sent to internal neighbors and always highest local preference is uh, preferred and it is used to prefer the outbound path right i hope you understood thanks for watching please subscribe me for more videos thank you have a wonderful day